the current social climate has given us all kinds of reasons to be live streaming. If you're involved in youth sports or church or civic theater or remote learning or that list could go on as long as there are reasons for people to be getting together. If you're involved in those, you need to be live streaming. I've built this channel around the ease and stability of the Mevo ecosystem, but I'd like to show you another option that might be a good choice for you as you look to get your live stream off the ground. By the way, this channel is continuing to produce quality content and information for you. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for the support. If you're not, I hope soon you will be. I'm not going anywhere, and I hope you'll stick around too. I'd like to introduce you to an option you may consider when you look to stream the events of your organization, especially if multiple cameras are something you need, but you have a short deadline or a tight budget. We're looking at the information on Minicam's website regarding their mobile offering. Now for the subscription price, you're going to get access to everything they have. It's a $29 a year subscription. They also offer a lifetime buy it once and be done kind of plan as well. But going back into the mobile part of their site, let's look and see what the mobile part of Minicam actually does for us. It's going to give us four inputs. It's going to give us RTMP, picture in picture, local video as input. This is a feature rich way to stream. You can stream in 1080 to YouTube, to Facebook, or any RTMP destination that you want. The great thing is no cameras to buy. You use your cell phone camera. You use your friend's cell phone camera if you're stuck with one and you need a couple of inputs. You can use any webcam or IP camera. You can use NDI in Minicam. Did we say it was a feature wit? Did we say <laughs> Did we say it was a feature rich way to stream? I believe it is. The most obvious use of this service is, though your iPhone or your Android phone. And if you have your old ones sitting around in a drawer, charge it up and use it as an input. You've got a multi-camera system and you haven't had to lay out anything but $29 for the startup costs. You can use it with either a laptop as the control device or if you have an iPhone or, a, or an Android tablet, you can use that as the control device as well. And your control device can be another input, either front or back camera. If you're streaming a baseball game and would like to offer commentary over the stream, you can click on your own camera to give yourself the ability to address the folks who are watching at home in between innings. Is the visiting coach making a visit to the pitcher's mound and it's taking forever? Put yourself on screen. Show something else, do a picture in picture, bring in a video source of highlights from the last game. This can actually be a quality service to bring live streaming of your event into people's homes. Remind me to tell you about getting closer to the action as streaming software. Apparently there is not a limitation on having to have a thousand YouTube subscribers. I went ahead and tested this on one of my other channels that I only have a hundred or so subscribers for and it worked as advertised. I ran a series of tests so you would have comparison video. Two Mevo starts set up in their normal every week streaming location at my church. I can control lighting in this situation as well as two iPhones mounted just underneath each one on one of my printed cold shoe sleeves. You're going to want to see this. We take a cold shoe print for a Mevo start and then we put this cold shoe adapter onto one, one of them I mounted on the side, one of them I mounted on the top. It doesn't make any difference. And then I'm just simply going to take a cell phone mount and a ball head mount. I'm going to combine those two. 
tighten that down put the cell phone mount the way you want it mount your cell phone in it and all of a sudden I can mount a cell phone on top of underneath my Mevo start and works like a charm. This is going to give you the same view from each camera and from each system configuration. So I recorded in this configuration, I screen grabbed in it, and then I also streamed to YouTube so we could get a comparison. Mevo Multicam with Mevo cameras, Minicam with iPhone 11 Pro Max and an iPhone 8 Plus. As we look at this footage, compared to my normal image adjustment settings on the Mevo Start in this lighting, the contrast is bumped up pretty high on the iPhone cameras or in the Minicam software. I really don't know how that works. But because Mevo gives image adjustments, they can be made to match easily enough. By the way, these settings are not available in Minicam. You may be wondering why I look into a streaming solution when I already have the Mevo pretty well dialed in. Well, from my perspective, here's why. I'm asked every week, what should I use to stream my meeting or my event? And honestly, having a less expensive start today kind of choice to offer them is attractive. While they're getting their streaming legs under them, they can be researching their long-term solution. I will continue to point them to Mevo. Its quality, its reliability, and its support is too good not to. But they can start Minicam tonight while they wait for the delivery driver to show up with their new cameras because they already have a cell phone with a pretty good camera built in. And even if they don't have a second camera, cell phone, their roommate or assistant troop leader or you get the idea. Wait, we almost forgot. I told you to remind me about getting closer to the action. And I want to show you what is another good option for getting closer to the action. I have come across the shift cam set of telephoto lenses. Now, keep in mind, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has a 2x telephoto zoom in it. The 12 has a 2.5. Don't know what the 13 is going to have in a couple of weeks, but we'll find out soon enough. This 60 millimeter shift cam gives another 2x of zoom, telephoto, optical zoom, to the iPhone 11 Pro Max for a total of 4x zoom. That's going to get us closer to a few rows back from the stage, wherever it is that we need to be. This is going to allow us to be closer to the action. These kinds of things are not yet available for the Mevo. There is no optical zoom on the Mevo. And although there are some of us who are trying to figure out how to get something like this mounted to the front of the Mevo, no one has had any real success with it. And so... For the Mevo, it is move it as close as possible, but it looks like there are some really good options. Moment, of course, makes a fantastic lens, as does Beast Cam, I believe, is an, another option. But Shift Cam is one that, that I've been trying out and have had wonderful success in allowing this to get me closer to the action, even when I can't get my equipment actually that much closer. I'll be doing a comparison video soon, so you'll know what features are available for both Mevo and for Minicam. Until then... Happy streaming. iPhone 12 Pro, oh, iPhone 11, 12. It's your iPhone or Android. And why are words so hard today? Did we say it was a feature? Wit. Did we say? <laughs>